Salesforce regions and instances. Now, what is these regions and instances? Now, we know that right now we can access the Salesforce just having the browser and internet, we can access the Salesforce. But now, now we know that there is a three services provided by the Salesforce, right? Salesforce is providing the infrastructure as a service. When we have an infrastructure as a service, as part of the infrastructure, they are providing the storage mechanism. Right? Either I can store the information or I can store the resources, backup, recovery mechanism. Everything can be available as part of the infrastructure as a service. Now, Salesforce is providing the three servers in the three region. There are three regions are available in the Salesforce. One is Asia Pacific. Now, Americas and Europe. Europe is a uh, EMEA. Asian, Asia Pacific. Let me show you this. Now, if you go to the status.salesforce.com, go to the status.salesforce.com. This is the Salesforce page, right? Trust status. Now in this Salesforce status.salesforce.com, click on the Salesforce services. Now when you click on the Salesforce services, you will see there is three regions are available. The three regions are Asia Pacific, Americas, and ENEA. These are the three regions provided by the Salesforce. Now, servers in the Salesforce are called as a instances. Now, in this case, if you look at here, these are the regions. Now, by selecting the each region, now I'm selecting the Asian Pacific or I'm selecting the Americas. When you select it, based on that, the pillow list is going to change. Now, if you select a EMEA, the list gets changed. Now, what are the below you can see? These are called as a instances. These are called as a instances. Now, this is a region. For each region, we'll have a instances. Now, every region, now based on the selection, now, Asian Pacific, if you select Asian Pacific, you will be able to see all the Asian Pacific, like especially the in India, if you are working from India and if you have a client in India. So you will see here AP27, AP24, Australia information will be there in the Asia. So these are the Asia Pacific orgs. Now, if you want to know about EMEA specific org instances, EME specified instances. Now you can see here all the CS or NEA or Dubai, Dubai related, all the DEU related, right? You can see all the Dubai related here, trans. So we have a different type of instances are available in the EMEA. Now, when you click on the Americas, you will see all the US, NEA, North America or CS, right? So these are the couple of instances you can see. We know that as part of the infrastructure as services, Salesforce is providing the database.com. Now, if you wanted to know more about, you need to go to the status.salesforce.com product Salesforce services. There you can see here, you, this is the region, based on the region, you can select the instances. Now in this instances, this is one instance. For example, if I go to the Americas or Asia Pacific, let's go to the Asia Pacific. Now let's go to the AP27 or AP7. Now this is one instance. This is one instance. Now in this instance, now what is the current status? What is the current status? So basically we have on the top, on the top it's a region. Within the region, we have a instances. 
this is the top one is a region based on the region selection we can see all the related instances all the related instances we can see within the instance within the instant we have a different salesforce orgs will be there different salesforce orgs will be there so these all are org so org1 salesforce org1 org2 multiple orgs will be there right so maximum you will have a 8000 orgs will be available within the instances now region instance and org no you will not know that based on the org here we'll have a instance like the, whenever the org is created there is a instance gets allocated for the org whenever you create a org salesforce org there is a instances allocated to the each org that means if you are creating the org from the us then it might be placed inside the instance which is a na7 or na8 in year 24 like that it will be placed in the instances based on the postal code based on the country the orgs will be inserted inside the instances now in this instance what is the current state of instance now, if you want it know for example if your org is not working or you are, you are not able to log into the org salesforce org you are not able to log into the salesforce org what happened to the salesforce org if you wanted to know anything that is not working in the salesforce the first thing is to go and check in the status.salesforce.com now in this status.salesforce.com select your region and the instance which are the instances you are in you can select the instance you will know that instance which instance are my in now which are the org i'm working on it you will find out the instance and in and explain you going further where can you find the instances? Let's assume that right now you have an instance number. When you have an instance, you can just open that instance. What is the current status? Is everything working fine? We have all the information properly or not? Green check is nothing but everything is smooth and everything is available. In case if there is a red check box, that means there is something wrong here. Or if it is a alert kind of a information, that means there is some maintenance is happening. Some maintenance is happening on this particular instance. Salesforce is doing some maintenance updates. Now it will give you the history, what has been happened on this instance. Now it will give you last seven days or a three days or last 24 days. It will not give you. Now either you can select a date. Now date selection, it can be available, let's say only till last one month. Only it is available till last month. Click on. Now you can see here what is happened from the last month to right now. What are the changes or what is the history level? Is it a smooth? Everything is going fine. Green line means everything is available. Like a service cloud is it's working as expected. Data cloud is working as expected. B2B commerce is working as expected. So there is no changes, no issues in the from last one month. Now today also everything is a green check. Now, this is the history it will give you. In case if there is a, any issues, you, it will show you some data here. Now, if you go to the maintenance, what is the maintenance right now? That means what has happened from the last few weeks or a few months, few years, what has happened? Now, if you look at this, now this is the from the last 23. Now, today to next one year, next one year, what is going to happen on this instance? from today to next December 31st, 24. That means almost one, one, one year, almost equal to one year, what is going to happen? Now, let's say it is planned for the October, September, there are no plans. In October, there are plans of increasing or updating the winter 24, right? So right now we are in the summer, summer 23. We will talk about the summer 23, like in Java or others, we have a version 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 1 right now, and in the Java 17.1, right? So you will have a versions, right? Similarly, Salesforce have a releases. So right now, this instance is in the release called summer 23. Summer 23, and their Salesforce is planning to upgrade it winter 24 in the October. 
Now, every instance, it might be planned in a different way. So I cannot say that every instance will have a same timeline for upgrading it. Based on the instance, based on the discussion with the client and Salesforce, they will choose which when they wanted to go for it in 24. There is a possibility that there are few org already they have upgraded to the winter 24. So there is a possibility is that there is already orgs are updated to the winter 24. So for this instance, there is a plan is for, for October 3rd. They are planning for the omni-channel winter 24 release and major release is going to happen on October 14th. So October 14, there are so many updates are going to happen on this AP7 instance. Now next one is in the November. In the November, they are going to update the in instance refresh. So they are going to update the some updates here, which is going to happen. There is a maintenance schedule is going to happen on this November. Now next in February, like we have a spring 24. This is another release. Like this is another version. There is another release is there. So right now we are in this release. In October, we are going for a winter 24. In the February, we are, they are going for a spring 24. Now these are the, you can see that next one year, what are the changes that are going to happen in this org? You can see based on the instance, you can identify it. In case if there are any errors or any issues, it will immediately shows here like a cancelled. There is an instance refresh was cancelled. Right? They, where is maintaining the instance AP7, they do not want to go for an instance refresh right now in the August time. That's the reason they have rescheduled it to the November 18th. Now this is the history and this is the maintenance and current status. Now anything that you wanted to know about your org, you can visit to the status.salesforce.com. For real time also, in the real time, if you have any problem with the your org, now as soon as you have any problem, it will show you different icons here. If it is a right mark, that means it is available. If there is any performance issues, then it will show this color. If it is any service description, now there are some service issues are there. In that case, it will show this cross mark. In case if you are going with any maintenance update, then it will show this icon. So based on the icon, we can identify is what is the status of current instances. So all the information you can know about your org here in the Salesforce uh, status.salesforce.com. We know the storage database in the Salesforce. What is the storage database in the Salesforce? Storage database in Salesforce. Database.com. Database.com. Database .com. What Salesforce is providing as part of infrastructure as service? Status.salesforce.com. So as part of the infrastructure service, they are providing the database.com. Now, how many regions Salesforce is providing? Three regions. Three regions. And what are the different regions provided by the Salesforce? Asia specific EMEA and Americas. The third one is Americas. Americas, yeah. 